these videos coming directly from the Holiday Inn Express. Well, this isn't the first time I've done this before. Guest is living out of a suitcase in my place here. It is what it is, guys. So this is why there was no video last week, guys. All right, so this is about two and a half weeks now of not cleaning the glass. But everything looks good. All I've done is I've come in once, twice a week to feed the fish. And everything looks really okay. They're a little nervous because they're not used to me being in here. 10 gallon is okay. I'd see stuff plain as day as if it were really bad, but everything looks good. Fish look healthy. Where's my fox face? He's probably in the back somewhere. I noticed my algae has really come way down. I don't see the fox face. Oh, there he is. Yeah, he looked like he lost a bit of weight, I have to say. Maybe not. All right, I'm gonna feed them now. The refugium's doing fine. This bryopsis is really growing up. I'll just use that as nutrient export. I've removed a big clump of it the other day. None of that is growing in here. So that's working. You got little pod population really cropping up well. You got the little snails coming in, growing. So the refugium is looking good. Not much you have to do with the refugium. And this is when it pays to have a large water makeup. This is a 15 gallon container I upgraded to. And here's the 10 gallon mark. So, and I list the days. Basically I'm going through about a gallon a day in evaporation with the 75 gallon and the 20 gallon are connected to that. And this down here is for the 10 gallon and this can go about seven to 10 days when it's full. So I'm about halfway. I'm out of here until Wednesday. It's now Saturday. So I'll probably come in here one more time before I come back to maybe top these off. Check out that tuxedo urchin in the back there. It's hanging from a piece of nori that I have clipped to the side of the glass. I figured there wouldn't be enough algae to last the entire time. There's probably not enough to last him any time without it. Yeah, I've said this before, guys. Sometimes when you leave your tank alone and not do anything to it, keep your hands out of it. Look the size of this mushroom back there. All my mushrooms look really good. Even my hammer looks good back there. So, something to be said about keeping your hands out of your tank for a time. 